Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to teach you how to get Margit's Shackle, which is not a consumable item. It is a tool that you can use over and over, and it has multiple uses in this game. First, the very first boss, the real hard boss that you encounter to progress the story, uh, if you use the Shackle on them, they will be held down on the ground. You can use this on them twice until they reach half HP or pull out their hammer. There is a boss later in the game you can use it on, and there is a dungeon that you can use it on to instantly cheese the... It's kind of like a puzzle boss encounter, and basically these riding chariots with these big wheels that run you over and instantly kill you. You can use this item to kill them instantly instead, and it's it makes the whole encounter super easy. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So today's video starts out at Gatefront, for those that don't know. You start the game at first step, you go north, get the church, go north again, go to Gatefront. This is where you get your mount. And if you are still confused on how to get here, uh, I have a video that explains how exactly to get here. It's called How to Quickly Get Your Mount and Spirit Calling Bell and Elden Ring. There will be a link in the description to this video, so go check that out if you're still confused. And let's begin. Okay, we're going to travel east, so we're going to line up our compass at the top of the screen uh, with east. And we're going to follow the road, right? We're just going to follow it east. Now, this dungeon that I'm taking you to, there are a few mandatory fights, but... It's so easy that you can do this at the start of the game. Alright, now as we travel east along the road, you will see a grace on the left here. We're going to get this grace. I've already got it, so I don't need to sit down at it again. And from this grace, we are just going to take a hard east. We're going to go straight east and jump into this little river here. It is not too tall at most parts of this river, but we're going to find a safe spot to jump down in. Just go east. That's all. It's very easy to get to this cave. And there are a few fights that you'll have to do. You'll also see a, or hear a quest giver that uh, tries to get you to help him. But don't worry about that. Anyway, so we're now at the at the cliff here. And uh, we can actually jump down onto this little rock here. Well, we should. There we go. We did take some damage. And uh, our mount disappeared because we are now being invaded, okay? Uh, so there is a few easy ways to kill this invader. I'm just going to use the flail and wild strikes. But if you just run around, you will get someone, an NPC, that will come to your aid and kill this guy for you. So you don't even have to really fight this person if you don't want to. But I'm just going to, I'm just going to run directly into them and just, just bash them. Because they can't really do much. <laughs> this is a pretty lame way to kill most fights. And there we go, down he goes. Alright. And then that's going to give you a dagger, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good dagger. It's not really, late game, it's pretty trivial. There's way better weapons. So I don't really bother messing with it. All right, and now we're at the cave. This is the cave here. Again, we just went directly east from the lake, the Ag Heel Lake North Grace. Just went east, dropped down. We had to fight that guy, that invader, and now we can go into the cave. That's not the only fight, though. Let's go ahead and flask up. Make sure you're at full HP, and uh, we're going to go into this cave now. There is a grace to grab, so if you die or mess up, it's completely fine. All right. Now, the enemies in here, there's a lot of them. There's not really any good loot worth getting in here. Uh, but you can fight it if fight them if you want to. I'm going to show you just fighting a few of them. Uh, they are there are a bunch of them though, so we're just going to fight these dudes. And again, I'm just killing them in one hit with the flail. They're pretty easy. They don't do a lot of damage either. Um, they also drop daggers if you don't want to buy one. Now, when let me show you real quick how to navigate this cave. Okay, so whenever you get into the cave, oh, I uh, I stepped on a trap by the way. You see this little chain on here on the ground? This alerts all of them to come attack me. And they're throwing poison now. Don't worry about it. These guys are easy. They're all gonna pour out of their cave now. But we're just gonna we're just gonna start swinging wildly. I have a video on my channel on how to get this skill and how to find the flail. And look, they dropping a they're dropping a whole bunch of loot, right? So this left cave, um, there's just a treasure chest uh, and a bunch of henchmen in here. It's not a big deal. You can go ahead and get the chest. It's nothing good. It's honestly nothing all that impressive at all. Uh, you can go ahead and grab it, and you got a mushroom, wow, like, it's completely, like, it's a meme, it's a joke, right? Let's go ahead and flask up, and, uh, the next one after that, to the right of that, so you have the leftmost cave, that's just mobs and a mushroom. The middle cave is where you want to go to progress, okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to go in here, and grab, you can grab the moss if you want, you don't have to, though. And you'll notice, oh, it's a boss room, what? That's weird. Uh oh, that's scary, isn't it? But there's no boss here. So, what you have to do is you open this chest, and then a guy will accuse you of stealing his clothing. I'm gonna open the chest, and there we go, we got some cloth. It's not a lot. 
All right, so that's just that's just a blood stain. Don't worry about that. So there's patches, and the way he fights is you he blocks and then he stabs you. So we're just gonna swing, and then we're gonna run away, and you can run behind him and execute him. There's a lot of things you can do here. And now just get him down to half health, about right there. Maybe one more hit. Let's run at him. Just again, just circle around behind him and smash him. Okay, there we go. You don't want to kill him. You can kill him. It's okay if you do. But um, once you get him to half health, he will uh, beg for surrender, and then you can talk to him. There we go. And you get the emote if you spare him, so that's kind of what you want, want to spare him. You can kill him after if you want. Alright, so now we're going to talk to him, and we're going to wait for his dialogue to exhaust. We're going to talk, and then we're going to pick the top choice here, which is... Uh, forgive and forget. And then he's going to introduce himself as Patches. Apparently this is a character in a lot of other Dark Souls games. He has a very detailed face, too, for some reason. Alright, so now that we've talked to him, we're going to open our map, and we're going to go back to this Grace. And what that does is that resets the dungeon, okay? That resets Patches, who will now become a vendor, okay? So now we're going to run forward. And uh, we're going to go just back into that room once again. And you have the two guards here. We can just smash them if you want. They won't actually follow you into Patch's room. They did once, though. They're not supposed to, but they did once. So we're just going to run straight. Actually, this is the wrong This is the wrong cave hole. <laughs> Let's just kill these guys again. They dropped some stuff. All right. There we go. To the right of that one. My bad. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, direction on sanity. What, what a fun thing to have. Okay, so now you're in the room, and you may be thinking, Whoa, there's a treasure chest. Yo, let's get it. Don't open this chest. This chest will warp you to a random part of the world um, where there's a bunch of giant bears, and you can't teleport back until you rest out of grace. So uh, don't touch this chest. All right, so we're going to talk to him now. And he's going to sell us the market's shackle. Now, like I said, this is a tool which you can use uh, on the very first boss of the game. There's a boss that you have to fight later on that you can also use it on. And... Uh, this is used to kill chariots in um, two dungeons, so you can. it's super useful to get. Go ahead and grab this absolutely awesome thing to have. You can also grab the cookbook if you want to learn how to do scripts grown, grace mimics, and gold pickled foulfoot. Absolutely must have gold pickled foulfoot. Definitely want that for farming the dragon, which is a good video on my channel. And you can get the parrying dagger, but you can just use a parrying buckler. It's way better, um, so no, re no reason about it. You can also buy these if you want. I'm going to go ahead and buy two. And at this point, you could totally just kill this guy. He does die later anyway, spoilers. And um, you'll get his bell bearing, and you can buy his stuff at any time from the round table. All right, and then with that said, I am going to now teleport and show off the Margaret Shackle and show you how it works. We're going to go to the Castle Wind, Wait, Castle Wind Tunnel. Is that, is that what this was called? I kind of didn't read it in time before I clicked the button. All right. Uh, loading taking a little longer than usual. Not sure what's up with that. And what is this site of grace called? This one is the Castle Ward Tunnel. Okay, cool. But uh, it's like, as soon as I uh, march forward here, this will be the first boss. And uh, just because I need to make a few more videos on this subject on how to cheese the boss, I'm going to go ahead and back up my save just real quick, and I will see you in a second. All right, and so with the Market Shackle, we are going, it's an inventory item. So we're going to go ahead and put it in our inventory right there, Market Shackle. Very cool stuff. And um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and try it out. But before we enter this uh, little area here, because this is a boss fight zone, uh, we're just going to do a little buffs. We're going to go ahead and hit us, uh, hit us with that Golden Vow and um, Flame Grant Me Strength. Very awesome buffs there. Get my wolves ready. I don't have enough mana for the wolves. I'm going to chug. And let's get that weapon ready too. I'm going to go, I'm just going to use the flail. I don't need to use the ant spur. All right, get that blo nice and bloodied up. All right, and then we're going to skip this cutscene, bust out the wolves, and then we're going to have the Margaret Shackle ready. He's going to jump at us. That's fine. And Margaret Shackle, boom, he's on the ground, and it's just time to beat him. Just beat the heck out of him. Look at this. And uh, <laughs> now, he's see, he pulls the hammer out. It's not going to work anymore. I'll, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. But, um... So we're going to use the Market Shackle and no effect. So at this point, you just kind of have to wail on him. Super easy boss fight though. Uh, we pretty much just killed the the first boss of the game that gives people a lot of trouble. There are there are people that will spend like an hour fighting this boss and like I'm fat rolling right now and 
it's it's pretty easy, man. And uh, yeah, so uh, the market shackle will definitely help you out. There are so many ways to kill this boss. I'm gonna go over that in the next video. So I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And talking over this guy is kind of annoying, I know, but um. Videos every day on this channel, so come back tomorrow for another Elden Ring video. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave a comment, leave a comment on someone else's comment, please. And if you're financially stable and you want to support me, then become a channel member. It's $5 a month. It's like being a Twitch subscriber, but you get access to private videos, more personal videos, and maybe like a heavy exploit or a dupe video or something for another MMORPG or multiplayer game where I'm too scared or I don't want to ruin the game and make it public. So it's going to be a members only feature. You can see the members only videos available in the pinned comment if you just want to look around and see if it's something you want to maybe invest five bucks in. My girlfriend's cat won't stop meowing. So I'm going to end this video and I will see you tomorrow. Take care, lads. Make sure you leave that like.